phthalates. The next diabolical chemical that is in our environment, which basically if there was a Dr. Evil out there and wants to date society, that would be something he would probably use. Why? Because this phthalate chemical reduces your testosterone. Now in an article that was published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism this August 2014, and its clinical citation being called urinary phthalate metabolites are associated with decreased serum testosterone in men and women from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey this 2000, between 2011 and 2012, they discovered this. This is what happens. Phthalates are directly tied to your libido, your reproductive health, your energy levels, your cognitive function, meaning how you think, and bone health through this fancy little hormone, as we all are familiar with it, called testosterone. Now, this one phthalate in particular, dye to ethyl hexyl phthalate DEHP, is what they decided to measure in 2,208 people in a cross-sectional study between 2011 and 2012. They did urine tests and to look at the phthalate levels, obviously, the metabolites, and there was about 13 of them. And then they did blood tests to test the testosterone levels. So you can validate what's going on. All right, and this is what they discovered. They discovered this. If you like libido, reproductive health, energy, cognitive function, and bone health, the best way to get rid of it all is to consume or wear or be surrounding yourself with tons of phthalates. Why? Because this is how it works. In this one-year study, they looked at women between the ages of 40 and 60, and what they discovered is this one chemical dropped testosterone levels down by 10.8%, all down to 24%. Now, this is important for young boys. Yeah, it may sound better, oh, lower testosterone levels in young adolescent boys, easier to control. But it doesn't just affect them at the age of 6 to 12. The exposure will affect them the rest of their life. So keep that in mind. So boys, 6 to 12, getting junk food, candies, whatever it is, they're wrapped in plastics, fast food, it dropped their testosterone levels 24 to 34.1%. That is just insane. Now keep in mind, phthalate exposure, you're going to find in plastics, it's often used to soften it. Food exposed to plastics, wrapped in plastics, wherever it comes down to. Fragrances, a lot of those clones out there, none of us can stand. They'll add it to the fragrances because it helps the smell last longer. Shampoos, cosmetics, the whole lineup. In fact, I hope you, the ones that are watching this video, can post the items which phthalates are found in, and it's quite a bit. So, if you want to keep your testosterone levels high, and you value libido, reproductive health, energy, cognitive function, and bone health, and everything else that goes around with the benefits of having testosterone, stay away from a lot of your commercial junky products. If you have no value for libido, reproductive health, bone health, cognitive function, energy levels, or whatever, then continue eating environmentally unfriendly and as much fast food as you possibly can. That's it, and thank you very much.